I know I just made an ABC Super Heavy Samurai video yesterday, y'all, but after getting some of y'all's comments and feedback, I went and tweaked the deck, and y'all, this is probably going to take the place of the ABC Level 7. I would talk a lot about the ABC Level 7, but this deck here is truly something different. It's on another level. We got from Diamond 5 to Master 5. On the same day, just a few matches. I'm going to show you the match history here real fast, y'all. It's Out of 20 matches, we only lost five. We won five in a row, then we lost one, three in a row, lost one, got back, a little bit back and forth, and then won the last three to get into Master 5. So, anyways, y'all, yeah, I think this is going to be the ABC deck moving forward, at least until we get new support or things start to change. So, we'll go over the updated deck list at the end of the video. Do me a favor, y'all, please like the video and comment down below because it's going to help this channel out massively. It's going to continue to motivate us to push out content and it helps the algorithm a lot more than you guys can imagine so please 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 do me a favor like the uh, like the video comment down below uh, we're gonna go over the matches from the match history here and this is probably my favorite one here so we're gonna go over that one first um, let's go ahead and watch it alrighty so for this match we do get to go first and we do have the Alta Maxi so we feel extremely safe here now here the only thing we really got is gonna be the super heavy samurai route so we're going to go ahead and go with Soul Piercer. We're going to activate Soul Piercer to, again, get, uh, uh, obviously get Prodigy. We're going to then play Prodigy, activate Prodigy so that we can go ahead and get Monk. We're going to activate Monk's Effect to search uh, Peacemaker. Then we're going to go ahead and activate Scarecrow. Send um, uh, Scales. With Scales, we're going to get, of course, um, uh, Soul Piercer. And then we are going to go ahead and go into the typical play here. XL Synchron Stardust Dragon. This is the usual... Um, this is pretty much the usual Super Heavy Samurai uh, route where we go ahead and get Prodigy back. We're going to go ahead and search uh, the bike here. We're going to activate the bike with the bike. I believe, yeah, we're going to go ahead and search Prodigy again. This is just to get extra monsters for when we Synchro Summon. We're going to activate uh, Soul Peacemaker. Go ahead and send Scarecrow. Then we're going to get the bike here so that we can go ahead and go into uh, Barone. Now, this is a little bit different from the route, but it's pretty much almost the same line. Um, then we're going to go ahead and... Um, Pendulum Summon here. This is probably my favorite thing about ABC Super Heavy is that we are now pendul Pendulum Summoning ABC pieces. And it makes for incredible follow-up. Anyways, we go ahead and do this. From here, we're going to go ahead and go into IP Mask Arena. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and activate the effect. Go, go ahead and get the AE Assault Core. From here, we're going to go ahead and go into um, Bo uh, Sprite Elf. Now, normally, if we have enough, this will give us a draw three. But we didn't have enough for the play, but it didn't matter. I, I just wanted the targeting protection. We're going to go ahead and activate this. This is going to go ahead and get us Borg Blocker. We're going to go ahead and be able to activate this to bring back the level 2 to be then. Then be able to go into Aurora Dawn. And now we're going to end up... I think we're going to end up with like 3 Negates, ABC, and then Ash or a Banish. So, um, it's not the strongest board. This is, this is cooking without a field spell, y'all. So, again, this is cooking without a field spell. This is cooking without... Um, Revolution Synchron, this is really just the ABC portion of the combo that's getting us through here. Go ahead and have ABC. Now, if you look at the board, we end with one, two, three negates. Now, this is there's a potential banish, and the reason is is because we can either choose to have the Ash or give up the Ash. This turn was a big one. So, I only had three negates. It's against the... Now, they have six cards here. What are we up against? So, they do activate Cashier of Fenrir. We're going to go ahead and return this. We don't want to deal with that banish effect. So we return that back to the deck and they don't get their search. So what are we playing up against? Uh, they activate uh, Supreme, whatever this is. I don't know what that is. I thought I had IP Mascarena, which is why I activated. That looks like it ended up being tier. So they activate this. They're going to go ahead and do a search. They search the field spell. They go ahead and play the field spell. I let it go through, which then they're able to... I kind of wish I hadn't let it go through. They activate this so that I go ahead and banish that. I don't want them sending cards to the grave. They're going to activate cash tier or tier. We do negate that. And then they have this. We are out of negates here. They are going to get full combo. And so I'm a little worried here because they're going to be able to do stuff. And we have no more negates. They go ahead and get rid of a uh, Savage Dragon, which kind of sucks. They activate this. And they end up being able to play um, uh, Scream anyways. So we did banish it. And they were able to just search it and then play it anyways, which kind of... Kind of sucks. Feels like we kind of wasted the negate there, but it is what it is. Whatever. Um, anyways, they're they're going full blown combo here. They're gonna go ahead and bring this back. Then they're gonna be able to bring this back. And I believe okay, they go ahead and attack. And no, that's actually it. So they don't go full combo, but we don't have any negates. And they have actually a spell, a uh, 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 or a trap or effect negate out in the back row, which is why we go to the battle phase first. I kind of want to deal with this first. Do this. That way they don't have that negate. 
Now, if we do activate this to pop that, they do have the monster, which they're then able to send. We do pop screen, but then they're able to go into Kit Kalos here, and then they're able to get another trap card. So now they're going to have two negates out in the back, or I think one of them is a, is a flip and a negate, and then they're going to be able to destroy our monsters here. So unfortunately, Barone's got to go here too. We activate this to search for uh, Soul Piercer, and then we're going to go ahead and go into Goddess here. That way we have at least a negate from the grave. We're going to be able to get Prodigy here. We're going to activate this to destroy the field spell. I don't want them to be able to pop anymore. And I feel pretty good here because they have they only have the trap card face down. They can't use it. it. Looks like they might have just opened up another trap card, so they really can't use it. So at this point now, because of um, Prodigy, we're able to just pen summon for game. And then we just attack, and then we pen summon for game, y'all. Who would have thought in ABC you would pendulum summon for game? Freaking nuts. I, I don't know what to say. Like, I, I was talking mad stuff about abc uh super heavy saying that it wasn't that good it just the original build that i did was not that good finally figured out you know the perfect ratios and the way to go and it's just nuts so here's another match we do get to go first on this match and we draw full combo and then we have gamma just in case so it's super nice we're gonna go ahead and go prodigy here if they activated something that was a monster effect we could have gamma but they didn't we're gonna go ahead and use monk to go ahead and get soul piercer and you guys probably already know this this here we're gonna go into scarecrow uh, we're gonna go ahead and search we're gonna go ahead and search motorbike here we're gonna activate the motorbike to get scales i believe yep then we're gonna send scales with scarecrow bring him back scales now they do activate this cutting off the combo and that's where i guys this is where you can make a mistake you can either go for scales but you know what now thinking back if i don't want to risk it just go for soul peacemaker instead of scales that way you can see here we could have just used soul pierce maker and then we could have actually just got out scales i didn't even think about that we would have given up a card in our hand but we would have actually had a full combo so be careful with that i just always try to save an extra card anyways we're going up against super heavy samurai go ahead and ash that that way we don't got to worry about the motorbike and we're hoping that's all they have turns out that they also have soul piece maker so I activate the maxi they don't want to go full combo here they just attack and pass turn I probably would have gone for Baguska, but then again, I could have played over Baguska. So, uh, luckily, we have Monk again. We're going to go ahead and get Soul Pierce. We're going to activate this, sending the Sea Crush. They have a Max C. We decide we're going to play through Max C. Uh, I just don't I, I don't want to end on a Baguska. And so, we're going to go ahead and just play through the Max C and hope that they don't draw into all these hand traps. We're going to go ahead and go full combo here. You already know. If you're familiar with the Super Heavy Samurai route, pretty much at this, this all becomes Super Heavy Samurai. The only difference is... That it's so easy to go into a roar down with super heavy samurai they're all machines and they all special summon themselves so going into a roar down with super heavy samurai is is ridiculous i'm glad that super heavy samurai isn't isn't going rampant because they probably would have banned aurora dawn anyways um we're gonna go ahead and do this they do activate the effect veiler doesn't do anything to us uh but it does negate it we're just trying to go for game here we're not even trying to go for negates i mean we want negates but we really want game we activate this we're able to do this now we're still able to go into Baron the floor, which is nice. We go ahead and do this. And because of the pen summon again, now, the only reason we got game was because we were able to pen summon. This is what's so crazy about it is the, the pen summoning factor is huge. It's amazing follow up and it gave us enough to go for game here. I couldn't get game without that pen summon. Alrighty, so another video here and we get to go first on this one. We do draw the gamma, which is nice. We got the union hanger. We have three one card combo. We have yeah, we have three one card combos here. Or two card combos, should I say? But we have enough to make everything combo here, so it's crazy. We're gonna go ahead and do the Union Hanger with the Union Hanger. We search to be Buster. Then we're gonna go into Prodigy, activate Prodigy effect. And here we're just going through the motions. We're going through the Super Heavy Samurai. A lot of this becomes Super Heavy Samurai. But if if Super Heavy Samurai got stopped here, we still have the B Buster. We still have the Revolution Synchron going into Ancient Fairy Dragon going into combo. So either way, we had our we had our alliance to combo, um, no matter. So we had the bait for a lot of the hand traps here. Anyways, now we're going ahead and go to the ABC stuff. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use Scarecrow with Scarecrow. We're gonna go ahead and get. Um, I mean, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get Soul Peacemaker, and then you already know here the strat. We're gonna go ahead and activate this to go into Ancient Fairy Dragon, and I believe here we pretty much have full combo. So we go ahead and search ASO Core. We're gonna do this to go into IP Mascarena. Then we're gonna go ahead and activate these two. Special summon the ASO Core. We're gonna get. Uh, we're going to destroy square crow so that we can go ahead and clear up our, our board so that we can go into elf and then this is going to let us go into aurora dawn 
um, so that we can go ahead and get a draw three here. So we're going to go ahead and get uh, King Regulus. We're going to activate this to summon the B Buster. We're going to go into Borg Blocker. We're going to go ahead and activate these two so that we can get a field spell back into our hand and a search from our deck. Then we're going to go ahead and go into Aurora Dawn here. We're going to activate this, getting our three tokens. We're going to go ahead and activate this to be able to bring out the O-Lion. With this, we're going to go into TG Hyper Librarian. So we're going to get our draw three here. We're going to bring back the level two tuner with Elf. Then we're going to go into Dang Long, searching nine pillars, drawing a card. We're going to get to search the nine pillars here, and then the card that we draw is another Revolution Synchron. We're going to go into Savage Dragon. We're going to get to draw a card off of Savage Dragon. We're going to go ahead and equip the Link Monster. We're going to go ahead and then do this to get ABC. We're going to activate ABC Effect to banish TG Hyper Librarian. And then we're going to go Therian King so that we go ahead and have another negate, y'all. And look at this board. Okay, we drew two. We didn't draw three because we had already gone into uh, uh, Barone. We drew two. We have one, two, three, four Omni Negates, okay? We have four Omni Negates. One of those Omni Negates returns to the deck, which is super effective. We have a Banish. We have Targeting Protection. And we have IP in the Graveyard so that we can go ahead and go into IP. When we activate the Ranking, we're going to be able to search an additional card for follow-up when we Pen Summon. And we have this Coliseum in case they run over one of the monsters so that we can go ahead. So guys, keep that in mind. Four Omni Negates, one returns to the, to the deck. We have Dark Ruler Protection. We have Targeting Protection. We can bring back IP for another Disruption. We have a Banish. We can separate ABC. We have Follow Up with Pen Summoning. We can search when Peacemaker goes to the grave. And we can get Regulus back if they run over a monster. That board is nuts, y'all. It is crazy. Crazy board. And we get a Field Spell back. That's just disgusting. Anyway, let's see how the player is able to play over this. So we are playing against um, Snake Eyes. They activate all of these. Of course, we're going through the negates here. We're going to be able to search the Peacemaker. They ash it. I don't care to negate that. I don't care about the effect. Now, they do have uh, Big Mama here or whatever, whatever this one is. It's fine, but they give up because they know that they're no match. Here, we got another long match. We go second on this one, and we only have an Ash for a hand trap so what are we up against they're playing this uh they activate it we do banish i mean we do uh send ash so that they can't search they go ahead and get rid of our card and then they have this so this is probably the worst nightmare for us is going to be dimension shifter and then dimension fissure but the ash was enough to stop their combo so i'm happy with that we're just gonna have to figure something out here what do we do we draw another ash which is nice we're gonna go ahead and play uh prodigy we're going to go ahead and search with Monk. We're going to get um, a soul, uh, soul Piercer. We're going to go ahead and do this. And then we're just going to attack. We're going to run over him. I don't want him to use him again. And that's it. We don't have anything here because everything is getting banished. But we do have an Ash. And I don't think they have anything. They don't have anything. Um, so luckily, they just have to pass here. We get another Ash, unfortunately. We're going to go ahead and play the Beat Buster. We're going to do this to be able to go into Ancient Fairy Dragon. With Ancient Fairy Dragon, we're going to Special Summon the Ash. We're going to go into Barone, and then we're going to go ahead and destroy that spell card so that we get to stop having to banish cards so that we actually have a chance to win. Anyways, what do they have? They're going to go ahead and they have nothing. So luckily, we're still able to play somewhat here. It's not a lot, and it's not great, but once we drew the Union Hanger, that was gaming. I just kind of wanted to show you that um, they could have had a game. Luckily, we had an Ash, which was enough, uh, and then they pretty much had everything on there to banish for us, but luckily, we were able to play around it. And we still got the game there. So uh, GG's to the opponent. Just kind of wanted to show you that. Now this one here. This was the match that got us from Diamond 1 to Master 5. We, I mean, unless they had Max Seed, which we would have gone Baguska if they did. They would have drawn 2. Um, and we would have gone Baguska. And Baguska does a lot to a lot of decks. Unfortunately, not much to Snake Eyes. But um, this is what got us there, y'all. It was super easy. Once they realized that we just had full combo, they, they just weren't going to have it. They went ahead and did this. We did that for the bait. They ashed it, which they fell for the bait. We went ahead and used Motorbike, got Prodigy, and then started going to the Super Heavy Samurai. Uh, uh, pretty much the Super Heavy Samurai line here, where everything's the same. It's kind of the similar line that normal Super Heavy Samurai goes into. Maybe just a little bit different, a little bit more risky, but they knew that that was it. They didn't even get to see ABC on the board, but that's what got us to Master 5. And let's do this. Let's just get into a, a, a match real fast. The first match in Master 5, just kind of want to show you a live duel. I think we can have a little bit of fun with it, and you can kind of see how crazy or how nuts this deck is. Let's hope we win the coin toss, but if we don't, it's not always the end of the world. We did win the coin toss. It's not always the end of the world, though, because we can draw into so many hand traps. This deck has three maxis, three um, drolls, two gammas, 
Um, what else? Nibiru. Like, it's got a lot. Anyways, okay, so we don't have the out to the maxi, unfortunately. Uh, can we go Baguska here? Maybe not, but we do have the nib. So, nib, Baguska, worst case scenario, isn't going to be terrible. We're going to go ahead and activate. Yeah, let's go ahead and activate the motorbike here. That way, if they have an Ash, they'll go ahead and get the Ash out of the way. Looks like no Ash, no Maxi, so we're just going to win here. I don't see us losing unless they have a bunch of hand traps here. And let's hope there's no Maxi either. I don't think they have anything. They may just surrender. A lot of the matches, people just surrender after they see the Super Heavy. Yeah, they see the Super Heavy Samurai, and they're like, I'm not going to deal with this long combo if they don't have the out. This happens a lot, y'all. You'd be surprised. So even then, it's kind of nice when some people, sometimes they'll see ABC and they're like, oh, this isn't a threat. But when they see a, a Super Heavy Samurai, they're like, we're just going to surrender. But I just wanted to show you guys a live match really quick. I don't want to make the video that long. But if you see the last video, I actually highlight this about the deck. It, watch my last video, y'all. At the very beginning, I'm telling you, people just surrender. That's why I've been showing the replays versus going in live. Because people just surrender and then it, it, it doesn't do anything. So if you look at the match history now, now we're only doing even better in the match history, y'all. That's uh, We've only lost 5 of 21 matches at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and go over the deck list. Alrighty, y'all. So here is the deck list just really quickly. It's only 43 cards. We reduced it 3 cards from the last build. And we did replace and take out some cards. So this time we got side frame Driver. That's for the 2 Gammas that we're going to have. The reason we took out um, the 2 Called by the Graves and the Crossout Designator. Just because they didn't work with super heavy samurai and the gammas are nice to have and that's what replaced pretty much those hand traps we do have still the three drone log birds you have to have them y'all we're in a format where you need these i mean of course snake eyes doesn't get affected but you still need them we got the soul peacemaker which you need just one of them we got the three maxis you have to have maxi don't pretend you don't uh two O lions uh two gammas of course uh, three motorbikes because they're the one card combo. Three Ash Blossoms because you need them for the opponent's maxi, which 90% of your opponents are going to have maxi. Uh, three Revolution Synchrons because they are there for the free Ancient Fairy Dragon and Extenders. Um, one Scales, you just need one. Uh, two uh, Soul, uh, Soul Piercers, we'd have it at three if it was still at three. Two ASO Horse, two B Busters, two Sea Crush Wyverns, one Union Driver. You don't even. Drawing it to Union Driver doesn't even hurt anymore. Like, it, it's just an option at this point now because of everything the deck does. And especially because now you can pen summon. Um, Un Union Driver, you probably don't even... I mean, I would still keep Union Driver in the deck, but you don't need it at more than one anymore. Like, at all. Uh, Therian King Regulus. One Nibiru uh, is a Fraxy for the uh, Danglong route and the um, Aurora Dawn route. Uh, three Prodigies because they're one-card combos. Uh, the three Union Hangers. The Ethereum Disc Coliseum, and then of course the nine pillars. I want to tell you guys there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight one card combos in this deck. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's five two card combos in this deck. No, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight two card combos in this deck. Um, it's pretty crazy, and then there's just a mixture of everything else. So there's a lot of two-card combos and a lot of one-card combos in this deck. You're probably going to draw into them. For the extra deck, we have two ABC Dragon Busters. We have the TG Hyper Librarian. We have the Danglong. We have Ancient Fairy Dragon, Borlode Savage Dragon, uh, Stardust Dragon, Barone. The Baguska, you have to have Baguska, guys. The amount of times people maxi, Baguska saves you. Unless it's Snake Eyes, Baguska saves you, and then you're you're okay. Super Heavy Simon Scarecrow, it doesn't matter if it gets uh, banished from the extra deck. It's not the only route that you have. IP Mascarena, Borg Blocker, Sprite Elf, so that you can get the draw two or even draw three, depending on which combo route you take. So this isn't a draw three all the time anymore. Now it's either a draw two or a draw three. Depends on how early you want to negate on the board. Aurora Dawn, of course, and then Underworld Goddess, y'all. This build here is legit. I've done, you saw those test duels. I mean, out of 21 test duel, out of 21 matches, we lost five, and we got to master five like that, guys. Like that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I played some, stopped a little bit, played some, stopped a little bit, played some, and that was it. Like, in one day, what is it, 21 matches? It was more than 21 matches because you can't see the rest of the history. But anyways, guys, the deck is legit. It's extremely strong. This build is so much stronger probably two times stronger than the build from yesterday so if you watch that video and you prefer that build it is a fun build but this here is the more competitive more um uh, consistent just a better build so thank you all for in the comment section for kind of saying hey you know you should take these out and yeah you're right um and then going back to the draw three is definitely a great idea but i hope you guys enjoyed again do me the favor y'all like the video comment it helps the algorithm a lot if you really want to help out this channel and um you know one of the biggest things is if you like the video you comment down below and it's, it's it's like a million bucks to me 
um it's like money to me y'all you guys are helping me so much you're gonna help grow the channel i appreciate it more than you know and and, and seriously i just i love every single one of y'all for that thank you so much i'll catch you on the next one